Welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial. This little tutorial is about uh, how to calculate circumference of a circle using Visual Basic. And the component you're seeing right now is there's a label there, there's another label here, and up here is a text box which I'm using as an input component. While the last object here is a label which you guys can see there, and here is my trigger function that's a first button which I use as a trigger function. If I double click on here now, what you see is I've already declared a variable there, pi, as double and that is pi itself. Maybe just add two to it. Okay. Now, my label tree, that is the output, I've already saved this. As you all know, the circumference of a circle itself, if I, let's say circle, Circumference of the circle equals 2 multiplied by pi. So let me just enter my pi value there. And you multiply that by multiply that by the radius. That is the formula for the circumference of a circle. Since the diameter itself we have to be divided by 2 to give it the radius, which is the point, the center to the edge of the circle that is why I have divided my text box or text value by 2 but do, but there's something I like to point out you see I have it as double here be careful you don't enter integer as you have an error there and uh, every, all of the calculation is right here and multiply by the pi well, I don't have to do it that way. I can always bring this very pi up here and just multiply everything together. Yes, it is allowed. That can be done too. So if I, supposing, I decide to multiply everything together, you can check this out if you have a calculator. So I'm just going to comment this out for now. And run the program so you will see that we will arrive at exactly the same answer. So let's run the program now. So let's say the value is the radius is 16. So to get the circumference, that's it 50.27. You can always work that out and you will arrive at exactly the same answer. But there's something I like you guys to. to See, supposing I decide to enter to enter non-numeric character in there, you can see that the system will refuse it because I've already entered a code in here. You can see the code right in there. Let me get rid of all of these so that you don't get confused. That is on key press. When the key is pressed, what will happen is the system will send a message asking you to enter just number number values alone and that is that so the only thing that is just left now is maybe I should just create a clear button let's double click on that to create our clear button it's right here that's the clear button there let me delete that and double click on that again all I just need to do is start all over label 3 we clear label three. There, let's clear that. And then let's also clear text box. Text box one. No text. So we clear that too. So come here and change this very one too. Let's change that to maybe reset. And that's it. So we'll run the program. Let's run the program and see. If Supposing that's our radius, click on that. Now that's the circumference of this very radius right here. That's the circumference of this very circle. Okay, so I'm just going to leave you guys to that. Ah, uh, by the way, let's give this a try now. Yep, that works as expected. Let's go for 16. There. Just before I go, here is here are the lines of codes here. Okay. That you leave it like this as a line of code, as a line of code for the keyboard, and that's it. So, I'm just gonna call it bye for now. You all have a nice day now.